welcome back to the channel. Hey, we took a short break from chopping here for a couple days. We ended up getting pounded with rain and uh, just got, it's just too wet out there. So we're letting everything dry up. Today's 20 mile an hour winds. Decided to move some oat bales we bailed up here. Just before that rain, dad took off with our hay bind and cut all this. This is a field we didn't get planted. Uh, wettest spring on record in the spring. That's why we didn't get it planted. This is some this is some muck dirt. Uh, some of the richest soil there is. They grow vegetables on here, but we got in here for years and we just grow corn and soybeans on it. Uh, we just rent it. So anyway, we got these bailed up. We're gonna get these moved and get them wrapped today. Check this stuff out. This stuff is green as it green can get. We're going to wrap them up in plastic to keep that from spoiling and molding. It'll keep them just, just as green and as fresh as this is. So let me get Dad loaded up, and uh, I'll take you over there and show him wrapping them too. But look for, look for a tractor Dad's using. It's a 66-50-20. He wanted to run that, no cabs. Cold, pretty cold out here, but I guess he don't care. He wanted to run an old tractor. And then I'll give you a little rundown on this case steer here here and uh once we get rolling so he'll be pulling in any second let's go I failed to mention was when I was loading these bales are heavy heavier than heck I think this machine's rated at oh I don't know at least 2,000 lift capacity this is green wet oats I can I can lift them but I don't have enough back weight I'm tipping over that's why he's using that 50 20 to pull them out on the on the gravel my brother's using his pickup to pull them down the road to get them wrapped so We'll see what happens. They, they're some heavy, and you've seen this dirt. I mean, this 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 soil. I'm kind of like floating out here. That's how that muck is. I'm just kind of. You don't want to dig a hole, you'll just sink. So it's, it's still wet. But uh, let's get back after it. And see how she goes.
took off with another load. He's pulling them out on the road. He'll bring another one back. I wanted to show you this skid steer here. We ended up having a hardy sprayer. We had two sprayers. The one we bought it, we didn't really like it. So what we did was we ended up trading it on this. This was uh, a demo at a dealership where they just used it around a lot. This is a 16, but it had 30 hours on it. So we ended up getting this. And uh, we just use it for moving bales and pallets and uh, actually using it to clear a little bit of a woods out. But other than that, we try to keep it out of the slot. Here's a better look at it. He's a main machine. We've had all kinds of different uh, skid steers over the years. New Holland, John Deere, Mustang. Yeah, I said Mustang. Gal. Thought about getting a Kubota one, but... So we got this guy. I'm gonna get back in that machine and load him back up. Here he comes. And he just took off with another load. I think there was there's 70 bales total. That's three loads. We're about out of this field. So they're over there wrapping. I hope I can get back there in time so we can see that wrapper in motion. If not, you'll just have to see what it what it did. So I, I think you did you see him in that 5020? He, he likes to make that baby snort. I hope we can get up. I'll give you a walk around on that at the end. Put a turbo on that he had that tractor 30 years or more he used to chop hay with it i actually used to use that baby but but now we just keep it in the barn and uh just have it just to have it he's just not gonna let it go i mean you could someone would want to buy that farmers would want that just to use you could still use that but more sentimental value than anything so let's get back Load him up again and we get out of here. Damn it, Wendy. Ryan it out.
I'm all loaded up and uh, we rutted this up a little bit that's that muck that stuff is slicker the only thing slicker than this is manure I didn't want to cuss on there so let's try to catch up with them see if they're still wrapping let's go all right looks like we're getting here just in time and he's uh putting the last bale in a dry bale to wrap it uh let's check this baby out see how it's working Thing's pretty neat, similar to ag bagging where you're putting the corn silage in plastic. But this is this is all just for preserving these bales. You know, you're taking this this these oats off in October right now. You're not gonna get the weather. There's too much dew. It's too damp. You'll never dry it down. It would never keep. So that's why you have to get the line wrapper. So there's 70 well rather there's 60 we did i think we kept 10 unwrapped that we're just going to feed right away before they spoil these are these are down here at the dry cow silo uh this is where i feed dry cows and bred heifers so i'll be mixing these in with the rest of this haystack and it'll just be nice you know it, it was such a dry year we didn't get as much hay as we usually do, so that's why we're doing it. And uh, let me take you up to the main farm here. I'm gonna give you a quick walk around on that 5020. And uh, just just show you show you dad's baby. Let's go. already got it unhooked here so this is a 66 had this for a very long time used it to farm with and uh but i mean it's just a straight old tractor everything on here is straight i see someone put put something on there but like i said he's thinking about restoring this tractor just because it's all there it's solid as a rock i mean look at the beef the beef on this tongue or this hitch the beef on everything this thing's a monster massive heavy heavy duty these older tractors usually guys want they want them for for tractor pulling but but not this type of this model of tractor because it's, it's too heavy but man this thing she's she's something else you've seen him pour, pouring the coal to her so well that's gonna about do it give you a rundown on this tractor I give you a rundown on a skid steer hope you like the video uh that's that's just some extra extra feed for us we're gonna get back to chopping here probably tomorrow and uh finish so get me up on the silo and uh and uh, we'll have some more of that we'll get up mark out there chopping so I hope you like this video. Uh, you can follow me at Kip Sigler Farming on Instagram also. Uh, leave a comment below. Uh, if you like the video, like it. And uh, subscribe to the channel. And okay guys, be safe out there until next time.